Twilio SendGrid makes it super simple for you to send your first email in just five minutes or less. In this video, we'll show you how it works with the Go programming language, but if you use any of the languages appearing on the screen right now, there's a helper library just for you. Here's how it works. Your app makes a post request to slash mail slash send over in SendGrid, and SendGrid sends an email to your user's inbox. Let's head over to SendGrid to get things set up. We'll start by creating an API key. Head into SendGrid and go under Settings to API Keys. Hit the Create API Key button and give it a name. Go to Restricted Access and scroll down to where it says Mail Send and expand that and click on where it says Mail Send. Scroll down and hit the Create and View button. Copy the key that appears here and store it in an environment variable. Heading over to the terminal inside our project, we'll run go get github.com slash sendgrid slash sendgrid go to download the sendgrid helper library for go. And then we'll create a file called email.go and open it in a text editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. Feel free to use whatever you'd like. We'll create a main package and import our dependencies. We'll use format to print some things out, log for errors, OS for environment variables, and then the sendgrid helper library itself. Next, we'll create a main function, and inside of here, we'll specify a from email address for our email using mail.newemail, passing in me as the name and me at brentschooley.com as the email address. Then we'll do the same for the to, that'll be brent from twilio at gmail.com. Next, we'll create a subject line, which is just a string that says sending with Twilio SendGrid is fun. Then we'll create content for a plain text email that says, and easy to do anywhere, even with Go. The HTML content will just simply add a strong tag to that text. Then we'll create a message using mail.new single email, passing in the from to subject, plain text content, and HTML content we just created. Next, we'll create a mail client using SendGrid dot new send client, and then using OS to fetch our SendGrid API key from an environment variable. Next, we'll use the SendGrid client to send the mail, saving the response and any error message in variables. So we'll call client.send message. Then if there's an error, we'll log it out. Otherwise, we'll print some information based on the email, the status code, body, and headers. At this point, we can save the code, open up the integrated terminal, run go build to build the application, and then run it, and it'll send an email. Heading over to our email inbox, we can see that it was sent with the right content, and it was sent from and to the right email addresses.